the uh, old solo talking Springfield. That's going to be a bit strange asking the questions instead of being asked. But let's put you out of your misery straight away and introduce a fabulous version of Twist and Shout by, uh, what was their name again? The Beatles! George, gorgeous George. George, how did you feel when you were in a plane and the door flew open? Cold. <laughs> You're all right for comic cuts, you know. <laughs> um, oh, this is ringer. This is no good. George, These how many guitars there. do you actually use? How many? Well, one at a, one at a time. You only use one. But they've got about... How many have you got? Um, four. Four? Yeah. They all look so beautiful as that. Ah, oh, listen to those. I got go. this the other day. Yeah. Yeah. This and what is about, the new one. This is the new one? Yeah. It's, it's very it's expensive. Not. It's not. No? No. I won't ask sound. you how much it is. How about this hair now? Is it real or is it a wig? It's a real wig. It's a real... <laughs> is it plastic or is it... Uh, I mean, it's Fiber a glass. It's real fiberglass. Okay, that's okay, George. This week's amateur disc jockey is Therese Confrey, the, the great dancer who was doing that. Um, Therese, what kind of music do you like most? Well, at the moment, I've gone absolutely crazy about rhythm and blues. Yeah, like all of us. Bo Diddley, you know. Oh, you like all, oh, the, all the real yes. like the gear is the Beatles. Yes. How about the Shirelles and the Crystals? Oh, I love people? them. The American groups, they have a great sound. They have a great them. Them. Yes. sound. What particular records have you been listening to recently that you've liked, uh, particularly to dance to, you know, from your point of view? Well, surprisingly enough, I've listened to a lot this week, and I haven't really found any that were terribly suitable to dance to, well, at least the Hitchhiker. That one I thought was good. The Orchids one. Mine, They're yes. great, aren't they? How and about like Sally Go Round the Roses? That's my favourite. We're going to play that it. later in the show. It's a marvellous record. One, yes. So, um, what record have you actually chosen you'd like to hear well, most finally, of all? I chose Rick Nelson's Falls Rushing. It's Beatle time again. Hello, Ringo. Hello. Uh, <laughs> lots of cards as usual, especially about the rings on your fingers. It says, Dear Ringo, why do you have all those rings on your fingers? Do they represent anything? No, I wear them on my fingers because I can't put them through my nose. Well. <laughs> Not enough room. Let's have a look at them. You've got four on here, but how many do you actually have? Um, 649 and a half. You counted them recently, oh, obviously. Yeah. obviously. Here's a great one. I've never seen a close-up of the Beatles from the knees down. Very lucky. <laughs> So please, could we have one on the show, and what size shoes do they take? I mean, what size shoes do you take? Seven. What about Paul? Eight and a half. And George? Seven and a half. What about John? Forty-two. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ringo, why do you like dislike Donald Duck? <laughs> I know, you can't good. understand it. Say that again. I think it's a good enough reason, don't you? Yeah. Could you tell uh, me, or uh, this is the girl, would you tell her what you and Paul have got written on your bracelets? Um, oh, it is. <laughs> um, on one side it's got Richie, because my real name's Richard, don't tell anybody. Um, yeah. And on it the is? other side it's Richard. got 21st birthday, love, mum. <laughs> Good old mother. Good old mother, that's very nice. Bye-bye, Ringo. Thanks bye -bye. a lot. Bye. Hello, gorgeous Paul. Hi. I've got some questions to ask you here. Uh, it says, please, could you tell me the name of your racing greyhound? Uh, I haven't got one, actually. You haven't? No, it's a... Well, a girl sent in a letter to me, and she said, would you like a great, uh, racing greyhound? A racing And I said, uh, yeah, but she hasn't sent it yet. She hasn't? Oh. How did she send it to you? I'm sure she No, will. she hasn't sent it yet. I hope she does, though. You know. Oh, it's a great like one. one. Listen, listen. Is it true you sleep with your eyes open? Uh, well, you know, I haven't seen myself do it, but actually the fellas say that, uh, say that I do. They do? Now, they've sort of seen me you sleeping have. with my eyes open. I haven't they really seen have. Too. How can you do that? I don't know. You know, it's just sort of You're just open. clever. Just brilliant, Paul. Yeah. Uh, Please ask Paul if he plucks his well-shaped eyebrows. I think he... <laughs> Um, Do you? No. You know, and it doesn't look so. No, they're perfectly beautiful girls. They're definitely. absolutely beautiful. Paul, do you mind girls screaming all through your act? Uh, no, we, uh, we like them screaming, generally, all of us, but uh, it's a bit much all the way through. Yeah. But we love them screaming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bye. So, <laughs> you do, I'm going to be some screaming now, so what's your next number going to be? I'll get you. John, uh, this is a question which you've probably been asked a thousand times before, but you always, all of you give different versions or different answers. So you've got to tell me now, how did the Beatles get their name? Uh, I just thought of it. You mm. just thought of it? <laughs> Another brilliant Beatles! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, really. <laughs> Were they called anything else before? They were called the uh, Quarry Men. <laughs> oh, you rugged character. Oh, John, listen, listen. Do you have false teeth, as they always look so evil? Even no. 
<laughs> Even... They're all chipped and battered. No, the... girls, would you say his teeth were chipped and battered? No. No! no! They're rather beautiful. No, they're real. Lovely teeth. <laughs> Is it true that when you were a kid, you were shot at for stealing apples? Yes, yes. Ah. Is that what these uh, beautiful marks no, are? No, they're yeah. scabbed. The scab... ah. Let's have a look. Show them your scabs. There's nothing there at all. He's got a beautiful complexion. Let me see your scabs. Hey. <laughs> I think this is where we better start finishing. What are you going to sing next? Uh, she loves you. Of course. She does. <laughs> 